Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. I believe that everybody is fine here. So, thank you very much. And uh, the topic for today's discussion is telephone etiquettes. So, let's discuss telephone etiquettes. The very first uh, thing is very interesting that 22% people were bothered by others playing games or listening to music sans headphones. It means that 22% people were disturbed at night by other people playing games on their own telephones and 20 person disliked 20 percent people disliked hearing someone talk on their own phone and 17 percent were also annoyed by people texting in movies or in texting on their own phone and three in one people have at least once been annoyed by someone else cell phone conversation and the and yet 90 percent of of cell phone users they think that they have excellent mobile manners so let's discuss when do you practice telephone etiquettes yes when answering telephone calls when you in callings when placing calls handling businesses small matters and then uh, on telephone and is why it is important to practice telephone etiquette. The very first point is to enhance guest services. It, to enhance guest services means to also uh, share positive respect, positive element as well and positive attitude as well. It, you know, it exceeds guest expectation. It also increases guest satisfaction as well and it improves your profitability once like. Before you place calls, you need to keep few things in your mind. That be prepared. Be prepared means plan your conversation. What you are going to talk about and when to talk about and what is the suitable time. And you have to keep this thing in your mind that uh, what is the objective of your communication. And then is turn away. Turn away uh, from your computer, desk or the other work have your computer switched on for example if you're for example if the customer he asks information which is not there in your i mean mind then you can use your computer to check on uh, online and then uh, you must have your uh, pens pencil or note paper handy if the if something if you want to write answering the phone answer calls properly within three rings always answer the call within three rings and smile as you pick the telephone the caller will hear it in your voice for example if somebody calls you how can you smile and uh, the other person can judge that you were smiling hello how are you nice to have a uh, nice to listen listen your voice okay project a tone that is enthusiastic natural and un and, and attentive and respectful and they greet the caller and identify yourself and your business as well and all uh, also offer how may i help you recognize the caller people like the sound of their own names it means that please and always call the people with their names the first time that you hear the caller's name write it down then either her or his then use her or his name during the conversation and if you were in doubt about the spellings of the caller's name ask for the spelling or start the name and ask for verification okay during the conversation pronounce the names clearly and speak clearly use simple english avoid slack Avoid slang like mm, mm, yeah, dude. Do not use these words in your con communication. It is a bad custom. It is bad, bad custom as well. Always speak calmly and choose your words carefully. What you, what uh, your choice of words is very important. That what are suitable words that you are going to use in your communication while talking to other. Okay. Uh, use all your listening skills. I mean to listen attentively. It means to listen attentively. Focus your attention on the caller and the conversation. 
clarify and check for misunderstanding for understanding or misunderstanding i mean repeat what the uh, what your uh, listener or what your speaker has said already okay use basic phrases of courtesy like may i help you please thank you you're welcome use these phrases frequently in your conversation just to let him feel big do not chew gum or eat during a conversation it is also a bad custom do not slam the phone or cut cut off abruptly please do not turn your phone off or cut out cut it off abruptly it is also considered as very bad matter refrain from idle chit chat with the customers please do not use uh, waste your own time and use uh, waste uh, your own customers time and avoid idle chit chat if there is a problem project a tune that is concerned or apologetic and then avoid five forbidden phrases no instead of instead find a state find a way to state the situation positively i don't know never use this never use this that i don't know rather that is a good way that is a good question let me find out for you i or we can't do that instead that is what i can do you will have to instead say here is how we can help you just a second give give me a give me a more honest estimate way how long it will take you reports to caller for example dr john is on the other line will uh, will you wait please he is away from his desk may i take a message so you this is your response i'm sorry dr john is out of office may someone else help you if the caller if you call her he wants to talk to dr john but he's not there but he's not there and you are asking your caller to leave a message but he's saying no i want to talk to dr john so you are saying that dr john is out of office may someone else take your message please or may someone else help you dr michael is in is in the finance or rachel sales department what moment please i'll transfer your code i'm sorry to keep you waiting for example if you let your customer wait so also apologize for waiting him long first ring ring and then may I speak with your father please hey you don't need my permission please be my guest what i were doing and ring 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 and then that's it uh, yes answering calls for others identify yourself and the company or the person for whom you and your you are answering and say how may i help you for example if you are attending telephone for example if you are attending telephone and you uh, have to identify you have to identify your company and you have to identify your own self as well and say that how how can you help how can you help them right offer assistance offer assistance in in the absence of others say he a uh, she is not in today perhaps i can be of assistance do not make commitments for others do not make commitments for others say i will give him your message when he returns take accurate messages with time date reason for call urgency the best time to reach them and all other pertinent information for example reports to caller and then transferring calls explain the reason of the transfer 
why are you transferring your call to the other person? For example, let me connect you with Mr. Ali or Mr. Uh, X, Y, Z or A, B, C, right? Uh, to uh, or in the in the dash department, right? And know your extension numbers so that the w caller is not kept waiting long. Mute the line if you are clarifying any information with your colleague. Okay, the transfer technique. Diagnose the situation. Why is there a need to transfer the call? Inform the caller that you are transferring that you are transferring the call. Announce announce the call. Announce the call that you are transferring. Outgoing the callers out obtaining the caller's name, for example. May I tell Mr. Rao who is calling, please? You can, you can, uh, you can uh, ask your customer. You can ask your customer that who is calling. It is the way that you are asking his, uh, asking his uh, name. And then may I say who is calling, please? It is another way uh, to, I uh, mean, get your caller's name right. May I have your name, please? And then progress report. Mr. Rao's line is still busy. Do you wish to continue waiting? No, I'm sorry to keep you waiting long. May I check far or further and call you back? Okay. Placing someone on hold. Uh, when uh, play, okay, okay. Let me let me uh, tell you here. Make sure that it is for a genuine reason. Uh, do please do not leave your customer on hold for long and first identify whether i mean there is a need of uh, wh whether there is a need of uh, the person to to get a hold okay ask the caller if he she can or would hold and wait for the response then other rather than assuming the answer is yes ask the caller if he or she can wait and uh, never keep a cooler on hold for more than a minute. If you have to take longer than longer than that, return to the person and tell them that you will have to take a few minutes longer and ask if you could cool him back. If for, if you think that the hold can go longer, ask the caller that if he can hold or not. Otherwise, you have to call him back. Yes. Next is when you return to the caller, thank them for holding, right? Yes, dealing with angry customers. How can you deal with an angry customer? Listen, allow the caller to speak, let him speak. If, for example, if the customer of the caller is angry, so let him speak first and empathize. Empathize, acknowledge the person's feeling, empathize. I mean to think at somebody else's place that how is he feeling so you have to you have to acknowledge the person's feeling apologize if it is appropriate or when appropriate your attitude it should be very positive you have to be very apologetic and till the end of your conversation yes next is solve or suggest or generate solutions that you can both agree and if reasonable do it if you can. Remain calm and courteous and do not argue with your customers and always remember one thing that boss is always right and your customer is always right. Do not interrupt your customers if he's speaking. Rather listen patiently and until he stops speaking. Explain clearly and do not make unrealistic promises. And smart apology, remember one thing that smart apology Apology is better than, but better than pain. Act fast, act, acting quickly shows that you are sorry and that you will handle the issue. Follow up and get feedback, get fee and get back to the cooler to make sure that the problem has been resolved. Concluding the call, end the conversation with an agreement on what is to happen next. If you are to follow up, do so immediately. Thank the caller for calling for this time and invite the caller to call again.
What are the five phases of a call? The phase one is opening the call, greeting and introduction. Let hello, I am X Y Z, and uh, working. I am calling from Talon. I am calling from Jazz. I am calling from Kalam. Right? So you have to you have to call like this. You have to introduce and greet the customers enthusiastically and passionately. And phase two is building a rapid and identifying customers' need. Try to ask the questions, how can I help you or how may I help you, right? And the phase three is collecting or verifying of information. That is paraphrasing, right? That is paraphrasing. And phase four is provide customers solutions or alternatives or information. How can you help customer by telling him solutions or provide? Or provide information or solutions to them. And then the phase five is get customers, buy and establish. But next, close the step and summarize everything. What is the basic rule? Yes. Treat the caller in the manner you would like to. Treat the caller in the manner you would like to be treated. If you are placing the codes, for example, Treat uh, uh, here. It also means it also means treat the way you, the way you want to be treated. Treat the way the way the way you want to be treated. Callers should be made to feel important and appreciated. And then prosperous business have learned to treat all callers as if they were best customers. You have to. You have to understand. You have to understand, and and you have to realize that uh, you have to give your customer respect, and you have to treat your customer the way you want to be treated, the way you want to be treated. And yes, callers, it they should be, they should feel very important. They should feel feel very important. Treat them, treat the way, treat the way that you want to be treated. Yes. Essentials of essentials of good calls, basic good manners. Okay, yes, basic good manners be courteous and helpful, be courteous and be helpful. Treat the callers with respect, recognize the caller. recognize the caller and be an active listener. And be an active listener, directing your full attention to the caller will require you to use effective listening techniques. Below are some suggestions to improve your listening skills. Focus on the caller's opening statement. Let the caller speak without interruption. Verify facts and figures. Provide feedback to the caller and do not ignore the questions. Take notes during the call, and then we have is uh, yes. I use good manners. Answer the telephone if possible. Answer the phone if possible, and immediate after immediate after the first ring, but definitely no longer than no longer than immediately after the third ring. Yes. Use proper identification when placing or receiving calls. Give the caller your complete address or, uh, or your name, right? And then use good manners. Use good manners. Keep your mouth free of gum or food when you talk about it on the telephone. Speak clearly and in a positive tone or a voice to avoid any sense of Interruption by the caller. Screen calls tactfully. Be helpful and follow through. Next is use good manners. End the telephone calls with a pleasant preliminary close. For example, thank you, I'm glad you called, or you're welcome. Say goodbye to end the conversation. Avoid bye bye as it is informal and it looks 
very bad or see you later for business call let the caller hang up first do not end the call yourself as it is very bad manner yes and be courteous be courteous and uh, consideration of others okay what does it take to be helpful okay one way consideration of others one way we learn about courtesy is through first and experience with someone who is not courteous treat every caller as an important call every caller as an important customer and being being courteous at all times it not or is not easy in a business office however it is always a necessity be helpful you show your spirit of helpfulness by your words expression and actions avoid slang expressions used in casual conversation get a with it and as you help callers speak with confidence to let them know you have the background and the skill to assist them yes habit of make helpfulness a habit effort listen promise fairness understanding and lifeline Thank you very much for listening me carefully if you have any question so you can put forward. Thank you very much for listening me so attentively. If you have liked this lecture, do follow and do recommend it to your friends and also subscribe to this channel.